why do I get hives from my hot tub or from hot tub water? Well, I'm not a doctor, and certainly that's the first person person that you should be speaking to about this problem. But as a pool builder and a hot tub builder, my perspective on this is that the the first thing I want to consider is that you could have a sensitivity or an allergy to the sanitizer that's being used in the water, and that's typically speaking going to be chlorine or bromine. At any time, any person tells me that they had a reaction in pool or hot tub water, the first thing I say is, did you get a water sample? Get a water sample, get a big water sample, like a one liter water sample, because you absolutely want to take a close look and see if you can identify any anomalies happening in this water. You know, was the pH really far out or was the sanitizer level super high? Because you might be able to point yourself in a direction here, or you may be, might be able to rule things out by being able to determine, no, this water was actually quite well balanced. And yet here I am having this reaction every time I'm in the water. So that's something that I would say is that a sanitizer allergy is possible, though it's pretty unlikely. A lot of people think that they have a, an allergy or a sensitivity to chlorine or bromine, but it's actually pretty uncommon, like it could happen, but pretty uncommon. What is quite common is for people to have sensitivities to changes or imbalance in pH. And a lot of people underappreciate the pH scale that we use for measuring the neutral state of water because it's a logarithmic scale. And when your pH is bad, it's a pH of 8. When it's good, it's a pH of 7 or 7.4 would be ideal. So it doesn't sound like that big of a difference. If your pH was a pH of 7 instead of a pH of 8, stated another way, your water is 10 times as acidic at a pH of 7 as it is at a pH of 8. And taking that further, at a pH of 6, your water is 100 times more acidic than a pH of 8. And what's significant is that hot tubs are small, and this relatively small volume of water means that you could accidentally overcorrect or undercorrect when making things like a pH correction. And you could accidentally make the water 100 times more acidic than you thought it was. And it would absolutely not be uncommon for somebody to have a poor physical reaction to water 100 times more acidic. But even in a less extreme situation, some people are just sensitive to pH changes. And so that's why, again, I would say if you are having any kind of physical reaction like hives to hot tub water, Definitely get a water analysis done and see if you can notice anything abnormal. The pH, I would be very specifically interested in knowing what is the pH value of this water. And I guess the final thing I'll mention is that if you're getting hives from hot tub water, I would wonder if the water is just poorly managed. As somebody who works in the pool and spa industry, it's a little shocking to me how poorly the average person manages the hot the chemicals within their hot tub. I mean, hot tub water can actually be pretty dangerous. And there's a lot of ways that you can miss the mark with it in terms of you don't maintain the sanitizer level or as I was saying earlier with the pH levels being way out. And there's a couple of different things like what's the total dissolved solid level? How old is this water? Is it is the water three months old or is it three years old? Because if it's three years old, I'm not surprised you got hives because it shouldn't be any more than three months old. That's kind of your maximum end. And hot tub owners have a real tendency to kind of push the envelope with that, like six months or a year. It's a lot of work to drain and refill these hot tubs. But the truth is, is it's really in your best interest. And absolutely, if you're having any kind of issues with something like hives in your hot tub. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.